Oh dear, what happened here? I had a choice, throw something or start shooting. Now I realize I still have time to do both. Are you all right, sir? Yeah, I just got a lot to think about, Nigel. I want you to know, though, how... how much I appreciate your honesty. Dad? Hey there. I appreciate your honesty, Nigel, and I... I also appreciate your discretion. Of course, sir. And that will be all. I don't feel much like talking. Very well. I'll get something to clear this up. Oh, Miss Andrews. It's you. I need to see Mr. Buchanan. I don't believe he's seeing anyone this morning. Mr. Buchanan. Oh, I'm so glad you're all right when you didn't show up to that 8 o'clock meeting. Yeah, I... The Thurman acquisition. God almighty, I forgot all about it. Don't worry. I took care of everything. I told them you had another family emergency. And then I stuffed them with coffee and croissants and sent them on their way with some BE t-shirts. From the blood drive. Um, here's everything from your inbox. Just in case you want to work again from home. I beg your pardon, but I handle Mr. Buchanan's affairs at home. Nigel, you have to take Renee to her checkup. Quite right, sir. I'll see if she's ready. I'm sorry to bother you like this. I just figured it had to be something just awful for you to miss that meeting. Yeah, you could say that, yeah. Oh, no. What? I'd rather not discuss it. Oh, my God. What am I doing? This is so not my business. <laughs> After all, you have Nigel to help you with your problems and your wife, of course. My wife is the problem because she's in love with my brother. That was an inappropriate thing to say to you. I apologize. It's all right. You can trust me. I won't say anything. Thank you. Except this. I don't understand how someone could be unfaithful to such a wonderful man. I appreciate what you're trying to do, but I've only just met you don't know me. You're right, I don't. But I've seen the way you've treated your staff and the way you've been treating me, and it's obvious you don't deserve this. Well, I agree with you there. Look, I know it might not seem like it right now, but in the long run, it's for the best. You see. Hello, Nora. Hey, I was just calling to let you know that we found Danny, and she's safe. It's a long story, though. Well, then you're going to have to tell me everything once you get home. Well, that's the other thing, is that um, we have one short stop to make, and then um, Matthew and I are coming home tonight. Tonight, huh? Will Bo be with you? Uh, well, I don't know if uh, he has something that he needs to do here, but if he doesn't, then... Yeah, I guess. Um... Well, I should, I should probably go. I love you. I'm sorry, we've got a terrible connection. I can no longer hear what you're saying to me, Nora. But you're cool with your wife. I don't think I could have done that. I just didn't know what to say. And now I don't know what to do. It's hard when someone you love hurts you like this. Sometimes you just want to get them back the exact same way they hurt you. That's how I always felt when my exes cheated on me. My first thought was always, don't get mad, get even. But how could you possibly get even for something like this? sure that I will think of something. Anything you need, Mr. Buchanan. You just say the word and I'll help any way I can. Well, I'm counting on that. Because when Nora and Bo get back to Landview, I'm going to give them a welcome home they will never forget. <laughs> 